Hi guys and welcome back to another F1 Fanatics video. I'm Mike and today what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at the proposed rule changes for 2021 as this week saw the kind of most concrete and ideas brought forward by Ross Braun and Nicholas Tombazi. I believe that's how you say his name. Not entirely too sure on that one. But anyway, uh, we'll have a quick look at some of the points they made. And then what we're going to do today is I'm going to go through my top five uh, things I would like to see come in with the 2021 rule regulations. And then you guys can comment below in terms of your ideas of what will make F1 better come 2021. So guys, let's get into it. So uh, the proposals put forward by uh, Ross and Nicholas uh, include first one is looking at the aerodynamics and really making it easier for those cars to follow each other. Obviously, the 2019 rules were meant to be the same, but Nico Hulkenberg uh, with comments like it's been the worst it's ever been probably don't help their case but moving on 2021 it's going to be massively positive so basically in 2017 they worked out that about 50 percent of downforce was lost when cars were following each other and the main aim of the rules in 2021 is to try and get that figure down to five to ten percent which obviously in principle sounds a superb and great idea the second one is to kind of make it a more competitive grid, which I think everyone would love. Everyone would love. Uh, there are amazing drivers on the grid. And the idea from Ross Braun was that no team would get a silver bullet by getting like a two second increase in difference in cars. What would basically happen is it would be more like two tenths of a second, which, you know, would be absolutely superb because then there would be little things down to drivers and pit stops and were more focused on stuff on the race day that was making the difference between uh, the teams, which is what us as fans really get excited by. The third one um, is uh, my personal favourite when they say uh, they want to make the cars more sexy. Yeah, everyone likes a sexy F1 car. To, uh, I, th I think they described it as making an F1 car kind of get back on the bedroom wall. Um, so yeah, watch out for those pin-up F1 cars, guys, that you'll be excited to get in your room. No, but in Venice, uh, Nicholas did kind of put it across in a more, well, formal tone. He wants the cars to be aesthetically pleasing and to have that wow factor, which I, I think they do at the moment, really, but I, I can see it. They want to, you really want to look at the cars and go, wow, that is that is the pinnacle of engineering, and they look amazing, which it's a big part. People love looking at cars, and it's got to be good. So, yeah, that is point number three. Last point, which is probably a really big important one, um, is making the sport more kind of financially viable championship. So introducing those budget caps. I think the budget cap has been uh, agreed at $175 million, Um for the 2021 year so that is very positive but uh ross Braun was looking to introduce it um in 2020 because they wanted to stop teams uh basically pumping money into the uh, r d teams for the following 2021 season because obviously by that stage the rules will be confirmed and everyone will have a much clearer idea of how things are going to look so now, guys, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at um, my kind of top five things that I would like to see in 2021. So starting off here with number five. And number five, I would kind of quite like um, for the drivers to have less input from the team. I think um, this would improve the on-field racing. And I think uh, you saw it at the British Grand Prix where Lewis actually ignored the strategy from the team. Um, because he believed he could go on to a one-stop strategy. So I believe the conversation, rather than being led by the team, should be led by the driver. And that would, uh, it just makes more sensible and that would naturally see more changes in strategy to the car because, well, the number one person who knows how the car's driving is the bloke who's driving it. So that, for me, would be point number five, well, of what could improve in 2021. Moving on to point number four, and for me, uh, tyres. Tyres, 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 whether they're high, grade, uh, high degradation, low degradation, we need to stop talking about tyres so much. I think everyone in F1, fans, 
teams, commentators are fed up of talking about tyres. I think the high degradation is not the way to go. Uh, go from there, just have tyres that are for, can last the whole race if they need to so that they can be pushed on. Um, and the way you change it is you make every team on a weekend use every compound available. So either the hard, medium, soft, the medium, soft, super soft um, type of compounds, that will increase more strategy and hopefully lead to a little bit um, of more kind of challenges and battles on the track. I am also aware that that also might mean that it just means that there are more undercut overtakes by people overtaken in the pits so it's not without perfection but it then the tires can't keep going how they're doing as high grade high degradation i think getting back to just a sturdy tire is fine we we don't need all these tires falling off a cliff because it proven it hasn't really made for exciting racing Number three, guys, is for me, I know it's already coming in, but is the budget cap. I think the budget cap is so important for kind of leveling out the playing field in F1 because, let's be honest, when we see two teams fighting at the top of the grid, it's really exciting. So if, it probably won't work out in principle. There will always be teams that kind of fade out and go from there, but it just makes it like much more likely for the field to be closer and that means the racing will be more exciting in between there we're going to have lots of different race winners hopefully and that is what people want to win they don't want to see although it's fantastic engineering and work from mercedes and fantastic driving from lewis nobody wants the kind of championship being sewn up with let's realistically unless things go drastically wrong lewis hamilton has already won the world title this year pretty much so nobody wants that in kind of july everyone wants it to be going down to those last couple of races last race and the excitement of oh who's going to win the drivers world championship this year the second one for me is more of an administrative point in terms of um i think in the rules further from 2021 the team should not be involved in the decision making process at all because i think you get into a bad situation when the teams can dictate and be uh they need to kind of give a unanimous decision um about the rules being put in place um because each team is going to be working for its own interest and like we've seen with at the top with mercedes and ferrari them having kind of overruling power in these uh, type of situations it should be solely down to the FIA and um, people like Ross Braun at the top of the thing and then with consultation with the drivers who because F1 as much as we love it as a sport to make it as a sport and to be popular as a sport you've also got to be an entertainment industry and the main performers the kind of lead actors in the role are the drivers so they're the ones you kind of um have chats with and kind of bounce ideas off they should have the kind of main say rather than teams themselves and then the main ones but the final say is the fia and they're really strict on that. Teams should not be involved in the rulemaking decision. And my number one reason is as little interference as possible. So I'll expand on that in things. So obviously we've seen in some cases this year with the uh, stewards getting involved and everything and causing controversial decisions with penalties and stuff. What I want to see in 2021 is as little involvement as possible. As long as it is not endangering someone or their car, then I believe everything should be down to kind of racing incidents. We've got some absolutely superb drivers and the racing we saw from Leclerc, Verstappen, and then we've got Lando Norris coming through. We've got George Russell, Lewis Hamilton will probably still be involved at this stage. And we want to see fighting all throughout the grid from top drivers. And we don't want to be having to worry about kind of driver penalties coming in um, for things. We want to be see hard, as Toto Wolff described it, dirty racing on the track. Because I said it's an entertainment business. So it's got to be exciting when they go wheel to wheel action. As long as they're respectful of each other, 
that's the type of stuff that we want to see on an f1 grid there you go guys that is my top five things of what i would like to see changed in 2021 an honorable mention also didn't make the top five but something i'd quite like to see is the tracks themselves making um them punish driver error more so more of the gravel traps not like the big open tarmac slices like paul ricard that just leads to boring races um guys let me know what you think if you liked this video um give it a thumbs up and then walk yourself over to the subscribe button and click on it and uh for more videos like this and more kind of videos following the F1 weekends, we're excited to kind of bring you. Um, comment down below what would make your top five things to change, um, whether you agree with mine, whether you're excited by what kind of Ross and Nicholas were saying and what was published this week. Anyway, guys, let us know. Thanks for seeing this. And for you F1 fans out there, remember, keep racing.